Okay, so here we are heading into the guard shack at Canadian Fertilizer. So, one thing to keep in mind when you're going in here, you gotta have your long sleeves on, your safety vest, hard hat, and steel-toed uh, work boots. You know, and of course you gotta have pants on too, no shorts allowed. Uh, and then you should have your license with you, your pickup number, and then your PAP sticker, if that applies to you for going down south. So you just wander on in and see whoever's on duty that day. They'll get you set up. Kind of go over a couple of things with you. Uh, they ask you where you're going to be crossing, who the product's going to. Kind of standard stuff. And then, yeah, off of all of that, they will produce a ticket for you. So that way you can go up to the loadout, which we'll uh, get back in the truck here and then fast forward to that. But yeah, you go up to loadout and load out put your load on then yeah you come back down and bingo away you are so on these particular trailers uh on the ticket number also they're gonna have your weights that you want to put on to the trailer so on these ones i run twenty-seven thousand on the slope of the lead and uh front slope i run seventeen thousand five hundred pounds on the back slope of the lead and then this one has a pup trailer behind that also. So a second trailer. So on the second trailer, I throw 33,000 pounds, about a third of the way up on the back slope. And that gives me a pretty consistent, even exhale weight. Gets me right up around there, my 118,000 legal gross. So it gets me up around there. And uh, yeah, gets my exhales evened out pretty good. Okay, so now we're going to pull under the little sign here that's got the green arrow on it. That'll get us onto our scale platform that's currently available and operating right now. Just because the red X is on the other side doesn't mean that you can't go on there. If there was multiple trucks, they would probably turn it to a green arrow because it doesn't look like they're moving any product over there in the rail cars. But it's something to keep in mind. And you also have to figure out which scale platform you fit on. And you learn that once you've been here once. This place is pretty good. Um, so yeah, you'll pull onto your designated scale platform, whichever one might be open. Uh, generally, with these particular trailers, they're called A-trains. So they have uh, trailer number one, uh, converter dolly, trailer number two. And that's our combination. So generally, with these trailers, you don't fit on the scale off to the left of the screen there. You don't fit on that scale, or I don't personally, maybe other guys do that are shorter wheelbase than I am, but yeah, I, I don't fit on that one. So I have to come over onto the right scale platform. And right now they're filling the trailers with product. So that's kind of how that works. They pull you on, uh, do your tear weight, then they back you up into position, start loading the hoppers. And then once you're all loaded, they pull you back on and get your gross weight. And that all gets converted over onto a ticket system. And then when you go back down to the guard shack again, they have your ticket already. That has your tear weight, your gross weight, and then your net weight of how much product you actually have on the tractor trailer combination. So a pretty cool system. Pretty slick, like I say. These guys aren't uh, aren't super slow. They're they're pretty freaking good. So I I enjoy coming in and out of their plant here. You know, haven't really had many bad experiences as far as that goes. <laughs> the uh, first day that I came in here to put my very first load on with these A trains when I was learning them, that was a little bit of a learning curve, which most everything is when you do it for the first time. So yeah, I put product on that I thought I was going to be okay at but yeah I turned out to be a fair amount light so I adjusted my formula and uh, I've never had a light load ever since but anyway that day it was uh, fairly light so I had to do the spin around and yeah wait in line and then the way it works at uh, Canadian Fertilizer here is that if you uh, are underloaded you have to go back in line and wait for one of the other truck drivers to say, hey, 
You know, you can just go ahead in front of me and, you know, get topped up. So it it's kind of sort of a bad, you know, system because if you get a bunch of guys that are <laughs> worried about making delivery and they don't want to, you know, spend the two minutes that it would take you to get topped up, you know, then they can get uh, a little bit, uh, how you say, interesting every now and again, but no, uh, that's okay. So anyway, we're just kind of getting the last of our product on here. Well, I think right now, if I remember right, we're loading the pup right now, so we'll have to uh, back up and then we'll finish off the lead, which there we go right now. And once we get this done, he'll kind of give us our gross weight, tear us out, and uh, yeah, then we can head on down to the guard shack and uh, pick up our ticket and our completed uh, paperwork, I guess I should say, not our ticket. But yeah, we'll pick up our completed paperwork and then we can start trucking for the border.